there is the Desert View Watchtower. Last time we were here in 19, I'm sorry, in 2018 with Maria and Joe. And we went down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon. We took no movies on that trip, just still pictures. So, I am sure now in 2024, five and a half years later, I will probably overdo it, but we're going to get some video. And here comes the amazing view. Here we go. This is just an incredibly beautiful spot right behind our campground. But not many people know of this. So Kathy and I are here all alone right now. Looking at this beautiful sunset. Now it's first thing in the morning. We literally just woke up and um, we're walking down here to Desert View oh, wow. Look at that. and see the sun hitting the other side of the canyon than we saw last night. So come and take a peek with us. What a beautiful place. It's 
talking about possible rain later or tomorrow so uh, we're gonna see everything we can while we can and let's take a look over the edge desert view where we were last night for the sunset. So today our plan is to go over to Navajo Point, that's about a half a mile away or so, up the road to Canyon Village, and we'll just hang there for a little bit. And then, according to plan, I may go down the Tanner Trail a little bit, just a little, over at uh, Lippin Point. That's about it for today. Kathy's being a trooper, it's only about 7.15 in the morning. And what an inspiration to wake up to first thing in the morning. Now right out here is Cape Royal, uh, where we went a couple of years ago. Kathy and I on the North Rim, which is very beautiful. Um, Some over here, this might be what they call uh, Walton's Throne, and right, uh, I'm sorry, Vishnu Temple, and right behind it is Walton's Throne. And then just to the right here, that point that's sticking out is Cape Royal, and that would be where the Angel's Window is. And then further to the right, Somewhere out there, maybe not even visible, is Point Imperial. It might be that highest point in the background there. That's the highest point that um, the roads go to, and that's, I think, 8,800 feet out there. Well, as you can see, it's incredibly crowded here at Navajo Point this morning. We are in fact the only vehicle here. And just to our left is a view. Right now the clouds are not giving us the most brilliance, but let's take a look down here as we go down some of these trails to the rim. Let's follow this trail. There's all these interweaving trails that people have made. I know sometimes it destroys the environment and all, but to me, it shows me the curiosity that people just want to get a little bit closer to this. We are literally at the edge of the Grand Canyon right now. That's the edge. It's almost seven o'clock in the morning. On April 26th, I walked uh, the trail behind our campground again, a little bit further. We got a nice view of Desert View Tower. Waiting for the sun to come out. A few more minutes, the clouds should pull away.
Well, the sun has made its appearance. And it's warming up just a little bit. So we're getting a nice sun on Desert View Tower. And these cliffs here, hitting the North Rim. Doesn't look like it's gonna make it into the lower reaches of the canyon until later in the day. What beauty. What we're looking at, if you can see it, way down in the center, there are some rapids on the river. Those are the Tanner Rapids. And that's where the Tanner Trail ends. On that beach. Pretty much in the center of the picture in the shadows. This here is a little hut that someone made right on the rim. Just needs a few more branches and you've got a pretty good shelter. Look at that. And here's the rim right here. So we're going to say goodbye to Desert View and head over to the village. Is Ron on top of a little boulder? Stormy evening at Grand Canyon. It is awesome.